Hi, it's Jamie from Heavenly Dreams Dairy Goats. I'm going to do a video today on how to make goat milk lotion. I've got... Oh, it's upstairs. Never mind. I can't say. I think I got nine or ten more new scents that I'm going to make lotions in. I've got everything... Well, actually, I could I could read it right off of here, too, because I forgot. I made my labels out, so... I got one that's called Yummy, that's um, by uh, Birthday Cake, that's what it's scented with. I've got one that's Heal Me, that one is scented with the Thieves Oil. Um, I've got Summer Days, this one is Cotton Candy scented. That's my hot water for my tea. Um, I've got Be Mine, which is scented by Honey. Um, sorry, I should have been a little more prepared so this video is not like forever long. Um, I've got one that's called All Week and it is scented by Pistachio. I've got one that's Yeah Baby. That one's, um, scented by Baby Powder. And it actually does smell like Baby Powder. I've got one called Yes Please and it is Bubblegum scented. And then I've got All Sugar. This one is scented by brown sugar and it is very sweet smelling. I really like it. And then I've got one that's called Love Me. And this one is scented by Vanilla Lavender. It's a very soft, um, calming scent. And this one is Smooth and it's by Lavender and Mint. So those are the new lotions I'm going to be doing. I've also got some of our ones that um, I ran out of, which was um, Queen Bee, which is um, scented by um, Black Raspberry Vanilla. And then I've got our Calm in Mind, which is scented by just um, Lavender. I had to think what it was. So um, I will have a complete list um, that will be attached to this video when I'm completely done. Thank you. I've already made three batches. This is my fourth. I think I got enough distilled water for one more batch, which I'll show you guys through that one. But I've already got my milk and distilled water warmed up, and I've already got all my citric acid and um, ex the, the wax I needed, and my essential oils are already laid out in my preservative is. So I just need to do the shea butter right quick which we will do real quick here and then we'll get it mixed up. I'm only doing small batches of everything because I feel that I want to make sure that I have everything that I planned on making at least a couple a couple you know eight ounce bottles of it which this batch makes three bottles of each so I'm just going to deal with that right now and then I'm going to go and make more obviously when I get everything that I had planned done. I'll go back and I'll do like maybe a double batch so I'll have at least six of everything made, maybe a little more. But I noticed um, two batches ago that I made a thieves and it didn't mix well in my soap and I noticed that it did not mix well very well in the lotion either. And the thing was, is the reason why I got that is because I had a pro, uh, a potential customer tell me that she wanted that. And then when I got it all made and had it ordered, she never ordered nothing from me. So that being said, I just decided I wasn't going to keep trying to do things that customers wanted because I had got stuck with this and what I mean by, by stuck I mean the essential oil for just a little bit like 1.25 ounces is very little and it costs like 30 bucks so I was very um very upset about the money that I had to pay into that and then she hasn't even wanted to buy it so what we have to do is, 
um, melt this in there. And this is quite hot. I had to melt the other stuff that was in there, which was um, autumn oil, avocado oil, shea butter, the citric acid, the emulsifying wax, and then the preservative, obviously, and then essential oil, distilled water. You must use the distilled water. It's not good to use tap water because tap water's got other bacterias and other vitamins and stuff in it that could make your lotion go bad before it should. And then I use our raw goat's milk, which of course does have, you know, good bacterias and vitamins and minerals in it, fatty acids and whatnot. But I use a really good um, preservative that's good for your skin because it's all natural, but it helps the lotion last for a minimum of six months, but I've had them last up over a year. So it works very well and you don't, you don't have to refrigerate this. I get questions with new customers who actually order um, our lotion and ask to see if they have to refrigerate it and you do not have to refrigerate. I leave mine out at room temperature I mean, it, it, it's very good stuff. So this is almost done. I forget what this one's called. Love Me. It's um, vanilla and lavender. The scent will be vanilla and lavender. But the name of the lotion is Love Me. There's just an itty bitty little piece in there almost done. Okay, so I'm going to stick this right here. It's, it's been really hot lately. So I've got my, my goat milk and distilled water and everything right here. So I'm going to try to pull this over a little bit. You guys won't be able to see. And then, of course, it's going to get loud because I have to beat with my hand mixer um, together. So I'm going to move some of this stuff over so I can put this right here. And maybe I can move this down. Let's see. Will it stay right there? If I, I'm sorry for the... Maybe if I put it right there. There we go. That works out. So then you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is just making a bigger mess than what I'm hoping for. Sorry. But you want to slowly just kind of mix in your add or your your um, waxes and oils to your milk and distilled water, and then you want to pulse it. Oh, see it already thickened up. Put in the, the preservative. And we're just gonna say just a little more. Just to make sure that it's in there very well. And then we're gonna add the essential oil now. smells so good. I really like the smell of this. I don't want to mix this hardly anymore because it's already starting to get really thick and then it will be hard to put inside the containers. Oh my gosh this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. This is wonderful. This is a very nice scent. The last one I made was um, lavender mint and it has like a man's cologne scent to it. It smells really good, but I can't tell you what type of men's cologne it actually is because 
I have no idea. I've smelled it like walking through the store and stuff on men, but I don't know what it is. Obviously, it's not something my husband wears because he wears polo, but um, it's, it, it's a different smell. I gotta hurry up and get these in the bottles or I'm not gonna be able to get them in there. I'm gonna set you guys back up so you can see me at least filling. I'm hoping you guys can see. And what I have to do is I have to stick an empty bottle on my scale that's right here. And they weigh 0.7, so I have to clear that and then I start where this is thickening. I start adding this to my bottles. Till I get to eight. So, I didn't make a huge mess, but I did make a mess. And my hands are sanitized, so this isn't something you normally want to do if your hands are not sanitized, because this will make the lotion go bad too if you get bacteria in it. So, there's one. And I've got to get this because i got to stir a little bit because it's already, it's just getting way too thick too fast. All my other ones were very liquidy and it was so easy to get them in there. But this one for some reason, like, thickened up quick. So we'll do another one. Remember I said this batch makes three. So we'll only have three done. I'm worried I'm going to make a big mess. I don't want to pour too fast. But I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long either. There's eight. I've got a big black right down there. My hands are so soaked right now with lotion being on them that they're not hardly soaking anything up anymore. Because I've just been like rubbing it into my skin if I got it on me. But I've got so much on me, my hands feel like they're silk. Because I've got so much on. Alright, our last one. I got a little blob right here. I think tomorrow I'm going to be making um, our shampoo and conditioner sets because I actually sold my last one today that I did have already made up. So that's four sets I've sold in the last two weeks and I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, this is not going to go in there. I'm going to have to microwave this a little bit to get this so it will because you see how it's just, it's not very, it's not good. Hold on a second. I'll do like 30 seconds. And hopefully that will that will help. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I should say. I guess I could just end the video with this. But um I'm just hoping you guys enjoyed it. I know it's probably a little long, but I didn't really give you much detail, but that explains what I'm doing. And it shows you how it has to be done and whatnot. So 
I will see you guys on the next one. I'll try to do a video tomorrow of when I'm doing the shampoo and conditioner sets and then probably Friday I'll be doing soap and then over the weekend, um, as long as the kids are in good health, then they'll come over and of course Courtney loves making bath bombs with me so we'll probably do a video of that. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you. God bless.